Hello, a uh, little video looking at um, importing CAD data inside of ZBrush. Uh, well, ZBrush and Studio Max actually. So this is uh, an STL component brought in as an object file um, from it's, it's part of a hinge. So uh, here we go. This is what we got currently here. And then I ran Z Remesher, and I got that from Z Remesher. Okay, and then I took it over into Studio Max. So what we've got here is that's my original um, STL file, which is uh, 5,000 verts, 10,470 polygons up here, and then I've got the Z Remesher thing here. Hang on, that's my Z Remesher. Z Remesher is 13,000 polygons or 13,980 verts. So that's ZBrush. That's the original STL. This is um, Quadrify inside of Max having a go. So this has gone from, it's quadrifying this original thing. So it's gone from 10,000 polygons to 19,000. The Z Remesher is 13,000. So it's not bad. And then I've actually hand built it as well just to be boring. And this is 15,000 and took ages in comparison to doing that, which is click go. Um, interesting thing, they all look pretty much pretty much the same um, apart from uh, this area so the original STL has got sharp that's got sharp and these have got beveled I could I could make them sharp but in reality there would be a bevel there I think so I've left it like that um, yeah so the rebuild on this was uh, what we've actually got here if I turn that off so these are the amount of polygons in reality what will get rendered basically unless I Turn it up to number two, in which case is that many, which is 60,000. I don't think we need 60,000. So leave it on one, which is 16,000. Took quite a while to rebuild it, or could just Z remesh it, 13,000. It's uh, less polygons, <laughs> took less time. So, and looks, you know, looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I actually need to turn that back on again, don't I? Nice light display. Yeah, so actually we do need that up a little bit. Oh, that's a bit clunky. There we go. You know what? ZBrush is actually better. How crazy is that? Because that needs to have 62,000 polygons just to fix this around here, really. It needs two, two divisions. So, you know, the real amount of polygons is that many. ZBrush manages with a lot less. I don't need to add... Um, turbo smooth to this because it just looks cool so yeah interesting so Z remesher on certain things certain CAD files um, does a pretty good job actually like a very good job um, yeah there you go so ZBrush for the win then woohoo who knew that <laughs> keep plodding on keep trying I've, I've tried all sorts of things I'd look at that um, whatever it's called instant mesh thing today but you know you spend so long playing around with it it just does your head in I'd, I'd, for CAD models don't really work not in my opinion anyway unless I'm doing something completely wrong which I don't think I am even though I don't know anything about it it's like you know so um, here endeth the lesson of CAD remodeling catch you later ZBrush for the win Woo